Summer is way sooner than I thought it was. I'm gonna show you my go-to summer makeup. It's natural, it's very model-inspired fairy energy. You're gonna love it, I love it. I'm just gonna try to let you in on some of my spicy secrets. And the biggest thank you ever to Sephora Collection for sponsoring this video. Hello, that is so cool, thank you so much. We're up close and personal. For natural looks, I always try to get my skin to look as good as it possibly can on its own since, you know, we're going natural, everything's gonna be peeking through. So here's what I like to use. First, Glow Recipe Dew Drops. They are literally, like, look, look at this. It just makes your skin look very healthy and glowy. It literally says ultimate glow on the bottle and they aren't lying. <laughs> this just gives your skin like a healthy glow, but also brightens up like any dark areas, which I love. Eye cream. I use the Ren Skincare Brightening Eye Cream. This eye cream is super hydrating and I love that because like I just want to look like I'm a fairy. I sit like on literal dew drops and like drink from them and swim in them and I just like lay on flowers all day and look cute like that's the goal here <laughs> i use a lord jones cbd lip balm because it's just really good throughout my makeup i get so dehydrated and then by the end i have like makeup on my lips and it's like super dry and crackly so we're just trying to avoid that my love do not leave the house this summer without spf i'm gonna be so sad if you guys are not wearing spf so sad you guys know i'm a cancer i'm very emotional i promise you i will be so sad <laughs> i use the one from ren skincare again because it doesn't give me a white cast um when i'm in the pool it totally does but like throughout the day it's just like super normal and it doesn't break me out either so <laughs> this last thing isn't really it's not skincare but i definitely put it on before my makeup it's just like a luminizer it's very creamy and um shimmery and i just like to put it on my high points and like anywhere that i want to glow i like that this looks like literally so natural like as if i just exist like a glowing star or something um and that is always the goal so i pretty much just got the cheeks under my brows and my tip of my nose oh my gosh i almost forgot my glow recipe um mist There we go, nice and glowy. Basically just use your favorite glowy, sun protecting, hydrating products before you do your makeup. And now everything's gonna go on like so smooth and extra natural and beautiful since we're all like hydrated instead of like patchy and dry, you know? I put my hair in a giant claw clip because I live on the literal sun and it's so hot here, I can't handle it. So hairstyle change, also known as Florida. I live in Florida. Brows are one of my personal favorite parts of makeup because there's so many ways to style them and change them up. So here's my go-to brow routine. My routine is super easy. I use the Build Your Own Brow Customizable Set from Sephora Collection because it's literally only $16 for three full-size products. First, I use the Retractable Brow Pencil in the shade number 12, Granite, and I like to brush my brows into a shape that I like with the spoolie that's on the other end, tweezing away any little stragglers I have hanging around. Then I like to use shorter strokes to mimic natural brow hairs along the areas of my brows that are naturally really sparse, basically catfishing myself into thinking I have my dream brows every time I do my makeup. <laughs> Side note, I do upwards motions towards the front and sideways towards the tail, and then I brush everything out at the end to diffuse any harsh lines. And the last step is this really good clear brow gel from Sephora Collection that keeps my brows in place all day. And it's that easy, brows are done! These are seriously my favorite brow products ever. They're so easy to use and make doing my brows stress-free and it hasn't always been that way, not gonna lie. You can mix and match Sephora Collection brow products to get whatever look you're going for. They have the Brow Voluminizing Fiber Mascara that gives a naturally fuller looking brow effect. And then there's the Bow Brow that's a sheer buildable pencil in two universal shades. I used this one today, the Retractable Waterproof Brow Pencil. This one and the Brow Mascara both have these two new shades, Auburn and Gray Brown, which is really cool. 
cool. And lastly, there's the brow shaper pencil if you prefer a triangular tip. So honestly, there's truly something for everyone here. So these are the brows and I love them so, so much. So just like defined and easy to do. I just like my brows to look like groomed and nice, just like natural, like as if I actually grow hairs like on the sides. <laughs> I love that Sephora collection believes that you don't have to sacrifice the quality of your beauty products for affordable prices. And they're able to have such affordable prices because they minimize on the packaging and the resources so that the actual product can be like amazing without having to like rack up on the price of packaging and like all of that stuff. So I really appreciate that. <laughs> Suddenly it is like storming outside, so hopefully that will give you just some like ambiance, you know, summer nights, summer rain. For the base, no tinted moisturizer, just your favorite concealer. My favorite is the NARS Cream. What is it called? I really thought I could do it without reading it. It's literally my favorite too. Like my my brain is just <laughs> My favorite is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It never fails me. And I'm just gonna put some right in the corner of my eye, on the outside of my eye, on both sides, of course. Imagine if I just like only did one side. Like the only thing that was off about my makeup was I just didn't do the other eye of concealer. That is such like an obscure thought. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I do the corners of my nose because I tend to get like a little red under there. Chin, right in the middle of the forehead. And then I just cover up a few of my acne scars and this is not because I'm ashamed of them. That's not true, I'm totally fine with them. I just think for this look, it's just really cute. It's very like cohesive and nice. Just to have everything be like one tone for the base. But if you don't want to cover up your scars, do not ever feel like you have to do that. It's completely normal. They're natural. You're beautiful with them. So like if you feel free enough to do that, then go ahead because I am 1000% on your side. how I forgot about my eyelids. Um. I love using just concealer because it just like makes it look like you're clear skinned. <laughs> but without all the hassle of like foundation or tinted moisturizer, like it's just easy. Then with some translucent setting powder, I'm just gonna go straight for my eyes so that they don't crease up my lid, under eyes, and then just like lightly powdering the rest of my face. Please enjoy this ASMR heavy rain in the background. <laughs> I don't know why it's raining, it was literally like such a sunny day. But I'm going in with some bronzer, just like super lightly around the perimeter of my skin, just to give like some depth, some life, you know what it is. I always go in an upward motion to kind of like lift everything. And then for these kind of looks, like I do not really care about contouring my nose super um, like precisely, like I just kind of let it be messy and sun-kissed like I've been outside tanning or something even though I'm wearing heavy amounts of SPF and like avoiding the sun at all costs. It's literally raining but getting brighter outside and if that is not like Florida in a nutshell, I don't know what is. <laughs> so I'm using this Rare Beauty blush which is extremely pigmented like you only need the tiniest amount like okay that is enough that little baby amount is enough it's insane are you seeing this it just keeps going it literally just keeps going liquid blush is just so flattering for the summer and it just stays for so long so i'm just gonna go all right up my cheek and i just keep layering until i feel like happy always pop a little bit on my forehead and my nose I'm using a powder blush on top just to like 
be extra <laughs> i just don't want the blush to go away ever and this is like a more peachier pinky tone versus the blush i just used was more like orangey so i just like both of these together i think it's really cute and i just kind of diffuse everything with a giant brush this highlighter is probably the cutest thing you've ever seen it's the kaja beauty mochi um mochi glow highlighter in toy alien and i just love it i think it's so cute so i'm gonna do the tip of my nose under the eyebrow and the inner corners because i just think that's cute Even just how this is, I love it. Perfect brows, concealer, highlighter, and blush. It just makes me feel pretty. But I'm just gonna add in a little spice. <laughs> I'm using a Sephora Collection retractable liner. Oops, I meant to say retractable brow pencil. Let's pretend that didn't happen. In the shade Auburn, so the shade that I usually use is um, the darker one. I think it's granite, but I'm going in with this shade because I think it's perfect for freckles. And I'm just gonna use this to create like a sun-kissed, natural freckle moment all along my cheeks and my nose and all of that. <laughs> Freckles can be hard to see on camera, but this is what they look like. And I didn't want to overdo it just so that the camera could see it, but like, it looks good in real life. Like it looks natural, it looks pretty, and it was super easy to do. You just like dot it around until like it all builds up and it looks natural, like layers of freckles. And it's just a nice little touch to make your natural makeup look like it's like actually natural. Cause like, whose freckles appears on top of foundation. No one. For the eyes, I'm just going with mascara. No eye makeup, no eyeliner. And here's my reason why. So imagine your friend calls you up and they're like, hey babe, uh, we're about to go on a picnic in 30 minutes um, in the middle of a field. It's gonna be nice, it's gonna be very Pinterest. Wear a sundress, bring a snack, see you in 30. And you're like, ka-ching, okay, coming. Uh, do we have time for eye makeup? Eyeliner, that's too much stress. You're already thinking about like what you're gonna wear, what snack you're gonna bring, what purse you're gonna wear, um, how your hair's gonna be. So it's just way more better <laughs> to not worry about eyeliner, for me at least. I know there's a lot of you baddies out there who could do a quick eyeliner in like five seconds. And for that, I think that you are elite and better than the rest of us, but that's just not me. <laughs> We're also going easy on the lips. I'm using my favorite lip liner to ever exist in the world, which is the Laura Mercier Hazelnut um, Tea Lip Liner. Yeah, and I'm just gonna lightly just create some shape. See, like just that makes my bottom lip look fuller and the color is like my lip color, but darker and richer. So um, I feel like that really helps with like making a nice shape. Then I dab a light pinky beige, like right in the middle to just like lighten everything up. This just makes everything a little bit more natural, tones down the reds in the lip liner and um, makes it feel just like, I just got lip filler, that's all. <laughs> and then I'm using this Tarte um, Maracuja Juicy Lip. Is there a shade? It's in shade Rose and it's kind of just like a juicy lip balm that I like to swipe over this to make it look just like shiny it's a little tinted too so it's just like super pretty but then i'm also like super crazy and decisive so i take a paper towel and i just so it's not like too juicy which there's no such thing but i just have my brain i don't know then we set it all in with 
whatever setting spray that makes you happy. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter because it's summer. I don't trust summer, so <laughs> all nighter it is. And that was officially the last step to looking like the most natural, effortless model fairy you've ever seen. <laughs> three favorite parts of this makeup look that I want to talk about. One being the skin and how easy it is because it's literally just concealer and just like balancing out the colors in your face, like covering up some dark spots and redness can really make it like look like you have like that clear skin effect. And that just, I feel like, I don't know. It just makes me so happy <laughs> because in the summer wearing heavy makeup, it just makes me upset, especially like with wearing a mask. Um, I just prefer lighter makeup when I'm wearing masks. Brows, oh my god, the brows. I, I feel like my true self when my brows are actually looking good. So I just love Sephora Collection for coming out with a line of brow products that make it super like accessible and easy to have like perfect brows. It just lets me keep living my fantasy of hoping that one day um, <laughs> actual hairs will grow on the corner of my eyebrows because I just naturally don't have them right here. So I always have to like do some magic filling it in. And lastly, the blush. That noise was my toilet. My toilet literally just did that. As I was saying, blush makes me feel like such a nice person. Like I feel so kind and like flustered. <laughs> I love it. I feel like I'm ready to go sit on a flower and just drink from droplets of water on the petals. Um, I don't know why I want to be a fairy so bad. Maybe I'm just like obsessed with the thought of being so small that I, I will never have to like work or pay taxes. Like I think that really makes me happy and wearing like cute little leaf dresses. Like I like that idea. <laughs> and that's it for my favorite effortless makeup look ever. I hope you love that Sephora collection recommendation I gave. We're all gonna have absolutely killer brows without our wallets suffering this summer, besties. I love you all with my whole entire essence and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.